on like healthy shopping today. So in the fridge, an enormous fridge, you'll see lots of veggies on top and you'll see that they are kind of out of packets. That's because we're washing them to get rid of the uh, pesticides and the chemicals. Um, yogurt, my husband has this. I actually don't because I do have female hormonal problems and dairy has hormones in. So if you are somebody that suffers with polycystic ovaries or endometriitis or those kinds of things, you might want to be a little bit wary of it. Or even if you've got things like asthma because dairy has also been shown to kind of be a bit mucusy. So again, milk, that's my husband. Mine is coconut milk. Um, you'll see in here olives and behind that, I don't know if you can see, we've got some hummus. Um, I eat lots of hummus. It's a really good like fat and protein source. Um, and obviously it's vegan. I try to like, I do eat meat, but I don't eat it all the time. I try to stick with mostly plant foods or plant based foods. So, um, I do as well, like for very, very quick nightmare days when you've got no time to cook found these, they look really good. Spanish tortilla, which you can just throw some salad with and you've got a meal in minutes. Um, I've also got in here, so you'll see lots of berries in my fridge. Lots and lots of berries. These have all been washed as well. And these are just full of antioxidants. So they're going to help fight off, ward off all sorts of diseases. They are so good. They're also low on the glycemic index so they're not gonna spike your blood sugar. So they're a great fruit. Try to go organic or definitely wash them because they do get pesticides all over them. Um, and then in here, I have kale, I have celery, I have, if you can see in there, peppers and cucumbers and things. I do lots of juicing, I juice every day, and I've actually just bought, I'm going to show you, is it in this cupboard? Just bought these um, glass jars that are good for, for freezing so that I can do some juicing in one batch because it takes ages cleaning all the juicer and stuff. In one batch, I'll do four or five, whack them in the freezer and then get them out ready for the day. So it's a good way to keep it fresh. If you don't freeze it, like as soon as you start chopping up veggies and fruits, it actually starts to, like the, the active enzymes, the live enzymes start to die. So you lose some of the goodness. So it's always best if you're going to chop things up and do it, either you're obviously cooking stuff when you're going to be eating it or freeze it. Um, okay, I also use lots of ginger in both foods and also juicing because it's highly anti-inflammatory. Um, most of the diseases of today are inflammatory related, whether it be diabetes, whether it be polycystic ovaries, whether it be heart problems, cancers, like there is an inflammatory part to the disorder. Garlic, very antimicrobial, great for keeping you healthy. Chili, great for your metabolism um, and obviously very tasty. Eggs, great protein source. Chicken in here, I always go organic meat wise because you can wash like pesticides and chemicals off of vegetables, but you can't wash the hormones and the things that the animals eat them. So if you're going to eat meat, definitely, definitely aim for organic if you can. Um, so that looks like a super healthy fridge. You don't know if you spotted the, uh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> typical broken an egg, whoops. Okay, need to be more careful. That's just typical Cullen. Uh, if you know me, you know that is. What I was trying to show you is we do have some champagne in there. I do like to um, have a drink because health is also happiness and a bit of a drink now and again is fine as long as it's balanced and, you know, whatever. Very quickly, I'm going to show you in here. We have walnuts, desiccated coconut. Uh, we have chia seeds. I make one of my favourite chia seed puddings that I have, which is chia seeds are full of um, omega-3s which are fantastic, very anti-inflammatory. We need to balance those out. You'll also notice, in fact, where is my peanut butter? But I bought a tub of peanut butter. I don't know where I put it, somewhere else. But I've got almond butter, peanut butter. I absolutely love nuts, love um, nut butter. And they are really good for you. There are definitely lots of studies that show almonds, which I've got whole almonds in the back. Um, people that tend to eat nuts tend to be lighter and healthier. 
they are part of a very healthy diet but it is I, I could eat them all day long and you do have to be careful because they are high in all sorts of uh, omega-6 and omega-9 as well and if you don't if we get too high in omega-6 and omega-9 fats then you're going to ha that's kind of pro-inflammatory again so you've got to make sure you get lots of omega-3s omega-3s I also take supplements um, for like fish oil tablets I don't eat fish great sources if you are into fish are salmon um, you know the kind of like oily fish I just don't like fish so I can't so I take a supplement and it just really helps with balancing out all of the other amoebas I eat really can't believe I dropped that egg um, I also use MCT oil um, which I put in a coffee or a tea in the morning before the gym now I'm back into the gym um, that helps with it's a great source of energy and it's brilliant because these MCT fats, um, the, the, they basically, your body uses them up without having to go through the whole process like it does with cars, with like turning on your insulin and, or needing the insulin to suck it up. It just goes through a whole different process. It's really quick, immediate energy. Therefore, it's really good when it comes to sticking it in with a coffee, etc. Uh, we've already seen that, spices and all that lot. Uh, no paint. Okay, ah, oh, there's a the peanut butter. Um, more cooking things, we've got pasta, that's not for me, so I've got polycystic ovaries, I tend not to eat much of it, that's husband and kids, uh, lentils to be able to make some lentil dal, um, I use vegan protein, the all natural, um, the only thing in there like to sweeten it is stevia, which is obviously plant based again, um, coffees, teas, I think that's it. Like, what else do you eat? Ah, I love chocolate, but I tend to go with 85%. So for me, I do eat every single day. It's my favorite thing. And I have that on the in the evening as my treat. And it feels really, really good. Anyway, um, I think that's kind of it. And I'm pretty sure I'll probably miss loads of stuff off. I've got uh, fruit fruit over here lots of limes and lemons and apples and bananas and that kind of thing but um if you've got any questions drop down below ask away and yeah see you later bye